Hi, my name is Skylar Church. And I'm Brian Church. I'm Brian's daughter, and we are the voices behind this YouTube channel. So we are the father-daughter duo that we are kind of wanting to go through kind of who we are, share a little bit about how we got into real estate, what we've done in real estate, and um, what we do on an education side of it since we talk so much on this channel, but we haven't really talked too much about who we are and what we've done. And so that's what we're gonna do today is go over our background to hopefully get to know a little bit more about us and how we got into real estate and why we like it so much and um, wanna help you with your licensing journey. So we're gonna first start off with my dad, Brian, as he started it all back in 95 with Accredited. Um, so what got you into real estate? Yeah, back in the 1980s, I realized that I was not gonna be able to meet uh, my goals, my financial goals by being a corporate executive. I was in the corporate world for, for a while. And then I just realized, you know, I'm going to have to get out of that and get into the real estate business if I really wanted to um, to attain those goals. And that's what I did. I left and became a salesperson, and then I got my broker's license, and I started doing transactional work, doing deals, and uh, I've um, sold properties, exchanged lots of 1031 exchanges, and uh, purchased a lot of properties, uh, including single-family homes, apartment buildings. Commercial lease investments, uh, parcels of land. So I've done uh, a lot of brokerage and also a lot of personal, uh, you know, investment transactions as well. Uh, clients have included individuals, um, partnerships, corporations, um, real estate investment trust. I got a chance to work with uh, one of the biggest uh, REITs in the industry, and I also worked with federal bankruptcy court doing asset dispositions for them. Uh, and lastly, I also worked with a couple of foreign investment groups. Uh, buying pur purchasing properties here, you know in the United States um, I've been a custom home builder and developer. I, I built uh, Custom homes in uh, Park City, Utah. I also had my Utah broker's license for a while when I needed it But I've uh, since let it lapse because I don't need it anymore um, I've uh, I hold a BS bachelor of science degree in business an MBA degree I did a year of substantive law so I could understand uh, contracts a little bit better uh, with regard to especially doing commercial real estate transactions and uh, I've been a California Community College uh, teacher and I've got a matter of fact California Community College teaching credential valid for life uh, and I have also you can't uh, get those anymore no you can't <laughs> you sure can and um, and then I also have taught at Golden Gate University uh, both um, undergraduate and graduate level um, courses there I was adjunct associate professor and then in 1995, I started accredited real estate schools, and I'm currently uh, chairman of the board of directors. Mm -hmm. You started in 95, and yeah. um, you realized there was a need in the market for quality real estate education um, when you went for your real estate salesperson and broker's license, and then... Yeah, that's right. I, I realized that, and then, um, in fact, my wife, Skylar's mother, uh, she has her real estate broker's license, and we realized also when she was going through that there really wasn't anyone who was doing a real good job of fulfilling the need uh, for uh, real estate education, especially getting exam preparation to pass the state exam in California. So we, that's why we started the school back mm -hmm. then and we continued on. And so then I came along and I'm very grateful my dad started accredited because um, that is what got me in the door with real estate. I got my salesperson license um, a little just shy of 10 years ago and uh, my dad was my broker for the first two and a half years and then I decided to get my broker's license. He was a great teacher in regards to me getting my real estate license but also with showing me the ropes with real estate. Super grateful for it but as my dad will say, I am a, um, I like to kind of do my own thing and run off, you know, and run my own business. So I think you were very grateful I got my broker's license. Yeah, well, that's, you definitely. <laughs> I wasn't bothering you all the time. <laughs> you guys, I think you kind of figured it out by now. You're right. <laughs> and so I got my broker's license in California um, shortly after my salesperson. And then a few years ago, I also got my Hawaii and my Florida broker's license. Um, I primarily work in California doing um, brokerage. Um, I do permanent rentals as well, but I do um, some brokerage and vacation rentals in Hawaii and Florida. So I'm able to bounce between these three states, but my focus is California when it comes to the education side of it. And that's why I've been able to um, co-author with my dad. I've been lucky and fortunate that my dad and I work so well together and he values my opinion. 
I've been doing it for so long now that <laughs> I think we, we make a good team when we're coming up with these books and figuring out mm-hmm. how the best way to present this information to students. So I've been able to help him with principles and practice. Um, but what I've also do with real estate, besides just on the education side, is um, I do practice. So I've experienced listing and selling both single family homes with also multi-unit residential properties. I also do property management, so I've done permanent and short-term rentals, um, and I also have done commercial leasing, so I've been able to also contribute to our property management textbook, um, which was a great, um, uh, which is a great book, by the way. Uh, has a lot of awesome um, tales from the trade because crazy things happen in everything of real estate, but especially <laughs> property management. Um, but I do have a bachelor's degree in accountancy that I graduated magna cum laude. And um, I'm also, I teach real estate at Kasumnas River College. So the great thing about all of our, um, everybody in the education department, they have experience teaching, which is a huge thing about it. We don't just get people that um, are in the industry. They have to be in the industry, but they also have to be proficient in teaching. And that's what makes you, Dad, such a good instructor is because you're a really great teacher, um, but you also really, you know a lot in real estate and you've done a, I don't a lot but and also we have Judy who does our live classes like she's part of our family Judy Bellinger she's fantastic and has been with us since 96 and she um, has been a broker for a long time but she also had experience teaching in a co- on a collegiate level with colleges too so um, yeah she's been a really good addition to our um, she does our live classes for us, and uh, what we found is that uh, to pass the state exam, you have two things you have to understand uh, the knowledge, the theory that goes into it, and you also have to understand the, the practice, the, the state exam questions, and that's why we have you go through the practice questions mm-hmm. and practice, practice, practice to go through the questions because you have to make sure that you understand um, the theory, how what things are exactly, and um, the questions and how they're phrased and how they mm-hmm. look at uh, putting a accept in there and double negatives and things can make it very difficult. But if you follow um, what we have laid out and you do your adequate amount of studying, you should be in a really good position to pass the state exam. Exactly. We I always tell students, we work really hard to make sure we teach you what you need to know and how to know it for the state exam to really go through those seven c- core conceptual areas that the state exam is um, is constructed off of. And so we really make sure to give you all of the material. If you can put the time into studying to make sure you're proficient in the material that we give and that you're able to apply the material to the practice questions and be able to approach it and apply it, you will do really, really well on the state exam. And then um, hopefully you'll then have your license and be able to start practicing in real estate. We all love real estate. It's a passion of all of ours. We want you to learn. We want to teach everybody we can that um, is interested in real estate um, and hopefully have a very successful career as well in it. Um, So hopefully our passion and our enthusiasm for it also um, is conveyed in our YouTube, but also in our our programs that we have. Um, And just so you guys know as well, um, so I do a lot of the editing for the YouTube, so that's why I'm the voice a lot of times behind it, but Brian is the voice on um, a lot of our paid programming. So if you do our video program um, and um, all of our textbooks, everything that is with that, Brian has a um, has a very, very heavy presence in. And then Judy does our live classes um, primarily, but myself or Brian will fill in when needed. So we're a big family here in our education department as well as with our sales team. So um, hopefully we can help you with your licensing journey and um, get you into that, you know, starting that career in real estate. Yep, that's a good place to start. It's getting mm-hmm. with accredited, so. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at Accredited. We'll be glad to answer any questions you might have um, and hopefully get you on your journey to um, starting, starting out in real estate. Thanks for watching.